Hi, Breda. Hi, Darcy. Um, it resonates. It resonates very much with me, uh, everything you have said today. Um, and I guess it, it's, it's like the unifying principle of um, when I'm in the heart versus the head, as you explained it so much, uh, the, the, the chit-chat subsides and the listening, when the listening is there and then the quiet is there, uh, the wisdom follows. Uh, and I guess it's to remain in that situation, um, especially with people or as you say, watching the TV or the external things. Um, the total success would be to be able to retain that position constantly, irrespective of what's going on around, uh, to maintain the, the, the stillness within. Does that make sense what I'm saying? I, yeah, I mean, are you saying, sharing with me your thoughts or you're asking me a question? That part I don't, I, I don't get. I was just sharing uh, um, your, your understanding. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I suppose you could. I could ask a question. Um, um, is it is is it the effort one puts in, or is it the, the karmic development of the individual? Are we at certain stages of our life? Mm, I have no other word to say. Designed to progress to whatever, or a part of it is a mystery. But I do understand. The, the, the situations you're talking about, and I certainly experienced them. But, um, you know, what total power we have over it, I don't know. Is there a karmic state to it? I guess it would be the basic of my question. In so le let me see if I understand. Uh, is there a karmic Destiny, destiny to to what to coming to your intuitive knowing and speak your your truth and listening to your intuition is that the question not to just listening to it but to to get uh, to achieve full enlightenment i guess which is where we're all sort of heading towards yes or to the that state constantly i mean that's what we're sitting here about. right okay let me all right, so now we're talking about something different. We're talking about enlightenment and being in that state constantly. Um, for the spiritual seeker, which I have experienced that for years and years, is the idea of awakening means that you're going to be in this really groovy state of really feeling bliss all the time based on the stories we heard from Christ consciousness or Krishna or Buddha or all these spiritual, great spiritual beings that we have heard about and we identify with and we, we enjoy. Whomever, Saint Germain, uh, uh, the Archmichael angel, or I don't know, whomever you really feel connected with, people that maybe we commonly know or people I never heard of. Um, anyway, that stories that they've been in this great love and they're just in this bliss all the time. So when you're on this side, you are thinking, assuming that, wow, when I get there, I am in this place and really feeling amazing and da 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 da. But when you cross the line, it's going to be in the absence of who you thought you were. So that person who was experiencing separation and was looking for this great amazing love is no longer there. So when the sense of separation disappears, in a way there is, is in the meantime, in a, this is a way of saying it, there's no one there to enjoy it because 
there was never a separation to begin with. The separation was illusory, so when it disappears, nothing's really happened. It's just, it was never anything separated to begin with. So it's really not what you think it's going to be. Um, but no, I... I'm, thinking, I'm sorry. The constant state of... Yes. Yeah, the constant state of no mind, and I can really right now give you a taste of it, but it, but ultimately it doesn't matter what I say, because at the end of the day, you're not going to believe it. And I promise you that. I know that 100%, but right now I can give you a taste of it, if you like. Yes, please. Okay. All right. So, this is it. You're here and you're not engaged with anything mentally or emotionally you're simply here and that's what I said earlier today I said just sit back and and just go one step back into this place of simply being here without any engagements with anything as far as having an having an agenda that i need to meditate or i need to feel blissed out or i need to quiet my mind i need to be in my heart it's like you drop all the agendas and simply in this moment you're here <laughs> You can come back. You can come back. Including that. Okay? That's what it's going to be like. It's not going to be, it can be this big bang, but that's an experience. But your constant state of awakening is that there is no engagement. It simply is. If engagement happens, it happens in a moment and then it disappears. There's no continuation of it. <laughs> 